Uh, in all seriousness, the most important thing, the thing I really think is what really separates this cryptocurrency from other ones is the fact that you can take your cursor and put it in the middle of the pinwheel. Okay, so maybe that's not my favorite thing, but it is pretty cool. I do like the interactive website. <laughs> Hello and welcome to your Simplified Coin Review. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we go any further. If you're a subscriber, then you'll have a chance to win our big contest we have coming up on Friday. So today we're going to be talking about the high performance blockchain, aka HPB. So right now it's coming in at number 145 on CoinMarketCap. It's worth $3.32 in US dollar value. It is 40,500 Satoshis. So this is a token. It's on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, NEO is an advisor for this project. However, it is not a NEP5 token. It is an ERC20. So, what is all the fuss about HPB? I've been hearing it everywhere lately, and why do people like it? Uh, well, we'll get into all the details, but before we do, let's look at the numbers on it. The market cap is $98.5 million dollars. The circulating supply is 29.7 million HPB, and the total supply is 100 million HPB. So a pretty common number in cryptocurrency as far as the total supply goes, around 100 million. So let's look at the chart. The chart is very interesting to me. So of course, they picked the worst time ever to debut as they debuted right in the middle of the crash. So of course, it immediately went down. But you know, if you notice, it didn't drop that far below where it was when it debuted, even though it was debuted in the crash. And since then, since April, it's a lot of sideways action. So this could be due for a breakout if you check the charts. Now, of course, I must say, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Invest at your own risk. But I, I promise when you watch me on these videos, you're going to get an unbiased report. I'm not going to show coins to you. I just absolutely refuse to do it. So let's look at this article. So what is the high-performance blockchain? So, uh, from the get-go, it becomes evident the high-performance blockchain tackles the concept of scalability from a completely different angle. Rather than just looking at the software side of things, the project also tackles the hardware aspect. To realize the optimal performance of blockchain applications, things will need to change in the near future. As such, this team is building an architecture which uses thousands of CPU and FBGA resources to create a more versatile and scalable ecosystem. So, we talk about it every single day on the channel. What's the biggest problem in cryptocurrency or blockchain technologies? The biggest problem is scalability. I, I feel like a broken record almost. I say it so much. But it seems to me that's what so many of these cryptocurrencies are trying to solve. So, one thing we really like here on the channel are tokens or coins that approach something from a different angle. Or they add something unique or a value. They're not just copying a white paper from somewhere else. Tron. Just kidding, don't kill me if you like Tron. But they did copy some of that white paper. But anyways, um, you know, so, so this is doing something totally different. And it's adding a hardware aspect to its blockchain. So when we look in just a minute at the white paper, we'll be able to look at what some of that hardware looks like. But the main idea of it is there is a chip accelerator engine, and that's supposed to propel everything forward in a timelier manner. So just like we said with Matrix AI in our news video yesterday, okay, show it to us. Show us you can actually do this. Once one of these coins or cryptos is able to show that it can solve a scalability problem, then it is going to be due to Moon. So let's check out the website. So on the website, uh, in all seriousness, the most important thing, the thing I really think is what really separates this cryptocurrency from other ones is the fact that you can take your cursor and put it in the middle of the pinwheel. Okay, so maybe that's not my favorite thing, but it is pretty cool. I do like the interactive website. So we will look at the white paper in just a second. So they use the chip level acceleration engine. They want to build a public chain based on hardware accelerator chip drivers. Deep integration of hardware and software. The accelerator chip can be highly customized, providing hardware acceleration support, to the public chains with performance bottlenecks. 
HPVX million level concurrent algorithm. So with that algorithm, they're going to be able to build the decentralized app ecosystem based on HPV to support scenarios that require high performance blockchain. So one thing to keep in mind with this, and since NEO is heavily involved in this project as an advisor, but from what I've heard, from what I've read, it's more than just an advisor. They have a hands-on approach with the high performance blockchain. So once again, this is just an opinion. This is not fact. I believe there's a good chance that the reason NEO is involved in this project is because they want to use this hardware software integration for the version two of their blockchain or whatever I've seen it called version two or whatever the next version, the more enhanced version, whatever the next step is for the NEO blockchain. So if that happens, this project will go through the roof, in my opinion. So this is one of the projects that I believe has the chance. There are not many projects in cryptocurrency that have the chance anymore to 100x unless the market goes to like $10 trillion. So what you're wanting to look for when you're looking for those coins and tokens that are down lower in the rankings, your crypto gems, if you will, you want to find something that is going to be able to get some kind of boost to propel it forward. And so if HPB is in fact in the works for the NEO blockchain, and at some point they merge, or at least they merge ideas, whatever it might be, then this could have the chance to be one of those 100 Xers. Now, of course, if it comes out and it sucks, then you could lose all your money. So keep that in mind when you're investing. So let's look at the team. So the founder and CEO is Zhao Ming Wang. Now, the rest of these guys also have uh, good names and good, well, not good names. <laughs> uh, their names are very interesting. What I mean by that is they have credibility behind them. So uh, I found this article on Medium talking about the founders of the project. And I just want to point out this one thing right here, which is that about Wang Zhao. And Wang Zhao was invited to a conference at Stanford, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it says he's a hot, he's also a former high ranking team member of UnionPay China. So what is UnionPay? So UnionPay is China's biggest credit card company. Estimates say that they may have up to 6 billion cards floating around there. And they've even put out 90 million cards to people outside of China. So it's growing. It's the third biggest payment processor in the world behind Visa and MasterCard. So the fact that he has this background, it shows that maybe there's some kind of tie-in if they can get the scalability and the speed of this blockchain where it needs to be. Who knows? Maybe we will see some kind of integration with UnionPay, which would not only be huge for high-performance blockchain and make it go whoop through the roof, but it would be huge for cryptocurrency in general. So it's something to keep in mind. So let's look down at their roadmap. So where they're at right now is the HPB testnet. It has been launched and supposedly it has gone very successful. So due to this, the mainnet is going to be launching at the end of June next month. So the mainnet is now going to be launching at the end of June. So if you're looking for a point to invest, this could be the point. Because as we know, when mainnets are launched, there's usually a dip due to people selling off but there's usually a pump leading up to it. So if you want to invest for a quick buck, then this could be a time to get in because HPB has not had the pre-mainnet uh, pump yet. Now, when it does, you'll have a decision, do you believe in this project long-term or would it be a good selling point for you? So of course, we're leading this up to 2019 when the final version will go online. So let's look at their social media. Their social media is not that impressive in terms of numbers, but in activity and involvement, it seems pretty good. They have about 10,000 followers on Twitter. They tweet about, on average, probably about once every three or four days, which is active enough for me. Uh, it, they're not tweeting every day. They're not going overboard. They're also not leaving it dormant for weeks at a time. So I like that. They talk about a lot of conferences that they go to and things like that. And unfortunately, when you go in the pinwheel here on Twitter, it doesn't spin. It makes me sad. But anyways, I digress. So here we are on uh, the HPB trader subreddit it's actually the biggest subreddit for hpb even though there may be one or two others that are seen as the more official subreddit i guess but this one has 2.4 thousand subscribers it's pretty active to be so small as we've seen with a lot of these they are there are not posts every day but the ones that do have posts 
they get a, a fair amount of activity. As you can see, the comments here it only have 2.4 thousand subscribers. Here, you know, there's 14 comments, nine comments, four comments. So people are at least talking about it. So let's jump over to this chart that I found on the white paper for HPB. It's 21 pages, and right now we are on page five. So it has the application layer, of course, as the top layer, anti-counterfeit traceability, smart big data, blockchain game. Then the bottom layer has the consensus algorithm, which we've already talked about, the business logic, the API interface, the distributed management system, smart contracts, peer-to-peer -peer network, HPV security module, and the acceleration engine interface. Then you have the physical layer. So the physical layer is what is going to lead to hopefully more scalability because of the hardware integration. So of course they have the distribution terminal, which will be smartphones, tablets, other mobile devices. But then you have the 3G, 4G, 5G optical network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So this is where the hardware comes in. So it's made up of the distributed core network node and then the BOE acceleration engine, which is the chip accelerator as we've been looking at. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on HPB? I like that they're doing something unique. I like their team is very solid and seems to have a lot of connections. Their white paper is very good. It's simple. It's it's not completely, you know, like some of these are that are 120 pages too tech heavy to where your average person can't read it. I like that you can understand what they're doing. I, I like that they seem to at least be involved with social media. Uh, what do I not like about HPB? Well, no one else has tried this before. So it's like, it's a blessing and a curse. No one else has tried this before, so we don't know what it's going to look like. The main net... I think will determine everything. If the mainnet if the mainnet launch comes out very smooth and it works very great, then I think we will see the price of this climb. Of course, after the initial dip, as I mentioned, it takes, I don't know if it's a few weeks, a few months, I'm not really sure exactly how long it takes to really grade the performance of a mainnet, but it seems like it takes a, a little bit to catch its breath and then start on the upward climb. If the mainnet launch goes very well, then there's a good chance this thing is going to go up. If NEO jumps in and starts working with HPV even more than they already are. They announced some kind of partnership or they announced this will be the platform for NEO's, uh, uh, the next generation of their blockchain. Then at that point, the price might go through the roof. If the mainnet launch does not go well and this turns into a disaster and they're not able to back up their claims about scalability, then this will probably be a forgotten cryptocurrency. So, and the idea of merging hardware and software might go along with it. So, you know, I think that I would like to see more people know about this. Hopefully this video will help to do that, to let people know about HPB. I think the more people that knew, know about this, that's doing something very unique in the partnership, or not partnership, but the collaboration it's doing with NEO in terms of having them as an advisor, it could be absolutely huge. So I think you guys just really, like I said earlier, with these lower cap coins, and not it's in the top 200, so it's not like it's super tiny, but with these lower cap coins, you really got to ask yourself the question, do I want to gamble on this? Do I believe that they can do what they say they're going to do? Because you could invest in this, and I believe that this could be one that could go 100x. And I'm not saying that's going to happen. I don't want you to sit here and say, oh, you're showing this coin, or you know what, BitBoy? Uh, you're just, you're filling our heads with fantasies. No, I'm not. Do I, do I think that will happen? Probably not. I don't, of course not. What in cryptocurrency right now would I honestly say is gonna 100x? I mean, there's not one thing out there I would say. But it's a different question if you say, would this one have a chance to be one of the few that could 100x? I would tell you yes. I think it does have the potential. However, that does not mean that it will happen. It's very feast or famine. I think we'll see this, we'll see HPB either go way up or totally disappear. I don't think there's a lot in the middle for this uh, token. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been thorough enough for you that you understand what this project is doing, why I think it could be a good investment. And you know, you guys make up your own decision. As always, do your own research from here. Take what, what you've learned and go find out more. Dig all the way deep down on the website and find everything that you want to know before you make a decision. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button. That was your Daily Crypto News.